Hi, welcome to the Sankofa Pan-African series. Have you downloaded your free copy of our children's illustrated biography of African legends yet? Please do so if you haven't. Don't forget that we owe our children a responsibility to expose them to our history. Also, please help us to continue bringing you videos like this one by supporting us through Patreon or Buy Me Coffee. Please, please also subscribe, share, and like our videos. Our legend today is Ama Ata Aidu, writer, poet, playwright, and academic. Ama Ata Aidu was born on the 23rd of March, 1942, in Abedzi, Keako, near Salt Pond, in the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast is the country that is now known as Ghana. By the time of her birth, it was still the Gold Coast. She was the daughter of Nana Yao Fama, chief of Abiedzi Kiako, and Mame Abaseme. She was um, raised in a Fante royal household at a time of resurgent British neocolonialism in Ghana. Her grandfather was murdered by neocolonialists, and the event helped her father to recognize the importance of educating the children and families in his realm on the history and events of the, of the era. I mean, we cannot uh, uh, overemphasize the importance of our history and the um, Amata Edu's father recognized that very early. So, recognizing that he needed to educate his children and the children in his realm in the history of the era led him to open up the first school near their village. Uh, so, Edu went on to attend Wesley Girls High School um, in, in Cape Coast, where she, she first decided she wanted to become a writer. After her secondary education, she proceeded to the University of Ghana in Legon, where she obtained a Bachelor of Arts degree in English. And it was while there that she also wrote her first play, The Dilemma of a Ghost. Um, this was in 1964. She wrote it while she was studying for her BA. The play was published um, the following year. The play in which a Ghanaian student returning home brings his African-American wife into the traditional culture and the extended family that he now finds restrictive won early rec re recognition. The play was very well received. So, and the, the dilemma of a ghost reflects Edu's characteristics, uh, characteristic concern with the Bintu uh, mentality. Uh, Bintu me, uh, referring to Africans who are educated abroad. It's a theme which she also visits in her uh, semi-autobiographical uh, and experimental first novel uh, titled Our Sister Killed Joy or Reflections from a black eyed queen. I, I love the title of, 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 of that novel. Anyway, Edu was appointed Minister of Education under the Provisional National Defense Council in 1982. But she resigned only after 18 months when she realized that she would not be able to achieve her primary aim of making education in Ghana freely accessible for all, uh, whether boys or girls. Her intention, her desire was to work towards getting free education for all in Ghana. In Ghana. And when she realized she couldn't achieve that by being part of that government, um, she resigned. She has written several award-winning plays, novels, um, short stories, 
and her her works portray the roles of African women in contemporary society. She also condemns the idea of the kind of nationalism which has been deployed by recent leaders as a means of keeping people oppressed. You know, she challenges that idea of, uh, of manipulating nationalism for, uh, for personal uh, good rather than for, for the good of the generality of the public. Now, Edu won a fellowship to, to Stanford University in California and then returned to teach at um, Cape Coast in Ghana. Um, she also served as a research fellow at the Institute of African Studies of the University of Ghana and um, at one time she was a lecturer in English at the University of Cape Coast, eventually rising there to, to the position of a uh, of professor. She has also spent a great deal of time teaching and living abroad. Um, she has lived in the United States, Britain, Germany, and Zimbabwe. In um, London in 1986, she delivered the Walter Rodney Visions of Africa lecture. Edu taught various English courses at Hamilton College in Clinton, New York in the early to mid uh, 1990s. She also taught in the Africana Studies Department of Brown University. She is the recipient of numerous awards and honors, including the Commonwealth Literary Awards, um, the Fulbright uh, Scholarship Award in 1988, and the Embarry Press Short Story Prize, to mention just a few of uh, the honors and awards that she's won. The Ama Ata Edu Center for Creative Writing, um, also called Edu Center, was launched in her honor in 2017 under the auspices of the Kojo Yanka School of Communication Studies at the African University College of Communications in Accra, Ghana. Thanks for watching. Please download your free copy of our children's books and support us through Patreon or by buying me coffee. Also, tell your friends about this channel.